Hi guys, so sa video na ito pag-usapan natin itong SOS Amazonia. So ang SOS Amazonia guys ay isang NFT na pwede mong i-hold or i-stake para pwede kang mag-earn. And yung kagandahan nito guys, kapag bumili kayo ng token, you can help the Amazon. So tignan natin guys kung paano natin matutulungan yung Amazon kapag bumili tayo ng token nitong SOS Amazonia. Let's go! Pag bago pa lang kayo sa channel, huwag nyong kalimutan na i-click yung subscribe button and palike na din ng video and mag-notify kayo para pag may bago tayong NFT game, may bago tayong review, manonotify kayo ka So ang mission nila guys is to promote environmental awareness in the Amazon and establish partnership with institutions that promote the conservation of the biome with a view to designing projects in the area. Yung eyesight naman nila is to seek solutions for the sustainable development of the Amazon in a model that is economically prosperous and socially just. So sino nga ba sila? Check natin yung who we are. Startup that aims to solve the notorious problems in the Amazon biome through DeFi projects. So yun daw sila. Ipapakita ko din naman sa inyo guys yung team behind the project mamaya after natin tignan yung white paper nila and yung mga bagay na mahalaga dito sa website nila like itong roadmap and many more. So i-check muna natin yung marketplace. Tignan natin kung meron na silang marketplace. So wala pa. And yung roadmap 2021 pre-sale nila. First quarter 2022 launch nila ng pancake swap. So meron na sila sa pancake swap. First quarter ulit ng 2022 SOS Amazon Marketplace platform. Pero based sa na-check natin kanina wala pa nga silang marketplace. So baka medyo delayed yan. 2022 hindi naka-indicate kung anong quarter partnerships for launch of SOS Amazonia brand products. And 2022 din SOS Amazon Ambassador. Pre-sale limited habitats, fauna and flora kit for the SOS Amazon game. So magkakaroon sila ng game guys. This is not just an NFT. Magkakaroon din sila ng NFT game. So launch of game, farm 1.0, SOS Amazon nakalagay dyan. So farming game pala yung gagawin nilang game dito. And lastly, launch of the SOS Amazon brand product line on the marketplace. I-stock naman natin yung Twitter nila guys. Makikita natin dito, Discover the Legend. And official release na nung token nila sa 7th of April at 11pm UTC. The big day is coming, sabi dyan. So meron din silang audit dito from Solid Proof. So andito din yung team nila guys, yung CEO nila, si Miguel Salomau. And yung game director nila si Fabio Catalao with Neto Liao. Sa Twitch naman yan guys, mapapanood nyo yung AMA nila. Sa Twitch, andito yung link. So puntahan nyo lang yung Twitter nila, ilalagay ko yung link sa description para ma-check nyo. Nag-AMA din sila dito kay Saulo. So andito din yung Twitch channel ni Saulo. Ilalagay ko din yan sa link, itong Twitter nila para ma-check nyo yung mga AMA nila, pati kay Malaka. So ito pala guys yung mga NFTs nila. Ganito yung klaseng NFT na makukuha natin. So example yan. Ito Dolphin. River Dolphin. NFT Gold Boto nakalagay dyan. Ito naman yung mga trailer nila. The Amazon has arrived on blockchain. Get ready soon. Limited habitats and NFTs will be available for sale. But remember they will be limited for the first defenders of our Amazon biome. So ito na yung trailer nila. Nakikita naman natin dyan. Uh, Sosam's Lands. Yan yung mga NFTs ng mga lands nila. So kung gusto nyo mag-avail ng mga lands ng Amazon, sali lang kayo sa PH Telegram group nila. Lalagay ko nga pala guys yung PH Telegram group sa description natin and ipipin ko din sa comment section natin para makasali kayo kaagad sa Telegram group nila para masubaybayan nyo itong project na ito. Sa ngayon meron silang 2,580 na followers. Check natin. So makikita natin dito na Portuguese yung mga pangalan nila dito. Ramon Linares, Ordin Sova, Wistar Money, Zembrano. Masasabi ko naman guys na hindi botted yung Twitter ng SOS Amazon niya. So hindi yan botted. Makikita naman natin dito sa mga tao na to guys. Organic yung reach nitong Twitter nila. So ibig sabihin marami din nag-aabang dito sa NFTs ng SOS Amazon niya. Kasi nga maganda naman yung mission nila. Which is to save nga the 
Amazon. Check naman natin yung white paper nila. SOS Amazon nila. The game, white paper. So, ito yung the game daw. Ito yung farming game na binabalak nila. So, Amazon Marketplace, NFT, Puzzles, Habitats, Initial Offer. Habitats will be offered initially limitedly with the following benefits. 3 NFTs, participate in stake and game mode. Other habitat benefits that will be reported in the future, OBS. We emphasize that these benefits will only be in the initial offer for sale of habitats. So ano nga ba yung habitats? Habitats, these are NFTs that represent fictitious territories of the Amazon biome. The habitats will have different features throughout the game. Initially, they will be needed for the stake game mode. Puzzles naman, these are pieces that can form an NFT. The player will be able to earn as an in-game reward and will also be able to buy and sell puzzles on the in-game marketplace. Ito naman yung singularity of habitats according to the rarity of your habitat. The better your experience in the SOS Amazon game will be and the better the NFT's claim will be after fulfilling all stakes zero according to the table below. So ganyan daw yung itsura guys. Uh, 60 days niya in stake kaya nagka-countdown ngayon yan. So yun yung tokens na makukuha nyo. May BNB din doon, may green doon, may Sozams, green ulit dito sa baba ng Sozams. So hindi ko din alam kung ano yung mga yan. Pero ito naman yung rarity ng habitat. Meron tayong common, rare, tsaka sacred. Tatlo lang yung rarity nila. Mother tree naman is one common, one rare, one legendary. Animals naman, two random, another two random. 1 rare and 1 random. Yung fauna and flora chest naman. After the end of the first game mode, stake 0 fauna chest NFTs of animal species and flora chest. 3 NFTs will be offered on the SOS Amazon Marketplace. In fauna chest, the player will be able to randomly obtain NFTs of common extinction, rare and extinct legendary animals. So makakakuha daw tayo ng mga extinct ng legendary animals. And the best example dyan ay baka dinosaur or unicorn yung ilalabas nilang animals dyan. Anyway, in Flora Chess, the player can randomly obtain NFTs from common, rare, and legendary trees. Ito naman yung NFT drop random percentage nila. Common is 78.50%. In extinction naman is 20.25%. Extinct is 1% lang. So sobrang rare ng mga extinct animals kasi nga extinct na sila. At hindi na sila mahahanap ulit pero dito lang tayo makakahanap ulit ng mga extinct animals dito lang sa SOS Amazonia. Ito naman yung game coins nila. Ang game coin nila ay tawag ay green coin. The non-tokenized currency green coin is responsible for the entire internal ecosystem of SOS Amazonia game. It will serve among other functions to be used. In the photosynthesis of trees, in the purchase of items, access to special events, in the conversation to the SOS Amazon nga token. So marahil yan yung utility token nila guys. Yan yung green coin. And ang governance token naman nila itong SOS Amazon nga. SOS Amazon Project Governance Token. More information about the token. See tokenomics. So titignan daw natin yung tokenomics para makita natin yung more information about dyan sa token na yan. Titignan natin yan mamaya. Ang game mode naman nila. Meron silang stake mode dito. So meron din silang zero stake mode. Storytelling yan. And game modes. Dynamics naman yan. Farm one mode. Storytelling. Yan yung storytelling na. Basahin nyo na lang. Requirements is players who own one NFT tree will be able to participate in this game mode. Tsaka ito naman yung game mode dynamics nya. May mga H2O at tsaka CO2 dyan. So the mother tree can carry out its photosynthesis. So hindi lang tayo mag-enjoy dito sa laro na to. Matututo pa tayo ng mga H2O and CO2 photosynthesis guys. And every 24 hours the player will have to give the mother 3 12 H2 and 6 CO2 that will be the substrates used for her to use photosynthesis kaya naman kailangan ng 12 H2O in 24 hours guys kasi sa dalawang oras kailangan ng mother 3 ng isang H2O para mabuhay very basic yan guys tinuro yan nung elementary tayo with the completion of photosynthesis players will be rewarded in green coin so doon na tayo makakakuha ng green coin Kapag nadiligan na natin siya at pag nag photosynthesis na itong tree. The rewards generated are according to the rarity of the mother tree. So kung gusto nyong mas malaki yung reward nyo guys, kailangan nyong mag mint ulit para makakuha tayo ng mas mataas na rarity 
na puno. In addition, you must use frogs predators of the Bezoro if they appear in the mother tree as they delay and harm the rewards generated by the photosynthesis of the mother tree. So gagamit tayo ng palaka guys para kainin niya yung mga Bezoro. Sa mga hindi naman familiar sa Bezoro, ito ay mga beetles na red ang mata at pink yung antena. And minsan yung kulay nila parang zebra. So na-check ko lang dito guys sa Google. So ano pa ba yung nakakaharm ng photosynthesis ng mother tree? Ito yung weather guys. Weather inclement weather interferes with mother tree photosynthesis. Protect it from the weather whenever you feel it's being harmed. So kailangan natin siyang i-protect daw sa weather. Uh, green market naman, hindi ko alam yan. And conversion between green coin and token sozams. Yan naman yung uh, conversion guys. Sozams to green coin, 1 is to 100. So 1 sozams is equivalent to 100 green coin. Green coin for sozams naman is 1,000 green coin is to 1 sozams. So marahil nagtataka kayo guys kung bakit 1 sozams is 100 green coin and 1,000 green coin is equivalent to 1 sozams. So, so ito naman yung pagme-maintain nila dito sa ecosystem nila guys. Kaya ganyan yung conversion. So sobrang laki ng difference guys. So ito na yung farm finale mode nila. Ito yung storytelling niya, hindi ko yan babasahin. Game mode dynamics, mini game mode. So magkakaroon din sila ng mga mini game mode like fishing, hunting, race, and catch the shark. Ito yung mga rewards niya guys. Uh, tokenomics naman nila, ito na yung tokenomics na titignan natin. 34% public sale, 20% is uh, play to earn is 20%, 5% naman yung stake reward, 6% yung smart contract migration, 25% sa pre-sale. And 10% sa dev team Roadmap naman nila Nabasa na natin ito kanina So Q2 2023 pa Yung first release nila ng mini game guys Beta farm finale naman nila is Q1 2023 So malapit na din yung uh, beta farm nila Next year na So yan guys yung SOS Amazonia white paper O nga pala guys sali kayo dun sa telegram PH group nitong SOS Amazonia I'm sure magugustuhan nyo dun Lalo na dun sa mga nature lovers at yung mga mahilig sa green katulad nito sobrang fresh sa mata pag nakikita natin yung mga green na katulad nito lalo na yung mga mahilig sa gulay so sali kayo dun guys sa telegram group nitong SOS Amazonia so yun lang guys yung review natin dito sa SOS Amazonia ang total supply nga pala nila is 200 million tokens purchase fee nila meron silang 8% na tax and sell rate is 8% din and syempre yung mga percentage na mga yan yung mga fees So mapupunta yun dun sa Amazon Forest guys. Ito yung maganda kasi makakapag-earn na tayo sa staking. Makakatulong pa tayo dito sa Amazon Forest. So yun lang guys yung review natin. Anyway pag bago pa lang kayo sa channel huwag nyo kalimutang i-click yung subscribe button. Click nyo na din yung notification bell. Set nyo yan sa all. Para pag meron tayong bagong NFT game, upcoming NFT game, potential token, manonotify kayo. Yun lang guys. Maraming salamat. Bye bye. Disclaimer, this content is for education and entertainment purposes only. Galaran TV does not provide investment advice. The information is being presented without consideration of the investment objectives, risk tolerance, or financial circumstances of any specific investor and might not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. All investing involves risk, including the possible loss of principal. Some videos have benefactors. Always do your own research. Never invest more than you are willing to lose.